name is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve dy by dx plus xy equals to y square e for x square by 2 into log x. Solution. Given differential equation dy by dx plus xy equals to y square e power x square by 2 into log x. You can write this as dy by dx plus x into y equals to e power x square by 2 that is e power x square by 2 into log x is a function of x into y square which is Bernoulli's equation or which is in Bernoulli's form I can say. We know that the Bernoulli's equation y and x is of the form dy by dx plus p into y equals to q into y power n. Where p and q are either functions of x alone or constants and n is a real number such that n not equals to 0 and n not equals to 1. Okay, so by comparing these two equations we can say that we are given a Bernoulli's equation, right? Where P and Q are, again by comparing, given an equation with Bernoulli's equation, we will get P equals to X and Q equals to e power X squared by 2 into log X. And by comparing Y squared with Y power N, you will get N equals to 2, which is a real number. So here P and Q are functions of X alone, since it does not involve any other variable other than X. Right? Fine. Now, We'll reduce the Bernoulli's equation to linear form. We know that the standard form of linear equation in Y is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q, where p and q are either functions of x alone or constants, right? So, if you notice you are having Bernoulli's equation dy by dx plus some function of x into y equals to function of x into y power or y square, right? While well, coming to linear equation, you'll have dy by dx plus some function of x, sorry, function of x or constant into y equals to some function of x or constant, right? But we don't have any function of y in RHS part of linear equation in y, right? But here, when coming to Bernoulli's equation, we have a function of y. So, this has to be eliminated from this equation, right? So, what we'll do is we'll simply bring this y square to LHS or we'll multiply both sides of the equation with 1 by y square or we'll divide both sides of the equation with y square to eliminate this y square, okay? So, now what we are going to do is we'll simply bring this y square to LHS and we'll write directly 1 by y square into dy by dx plus x into y by y square equals to e power x square by 2 into log x. Or you can just try, instead of writing directly, you can check what happens if you bring y square to LHS part. 1 by y square into LHS part equals to e power x square by 2 into log x gives 1 by y square into dy by dx plus x into y by y square equals to e power x square by 2 into log x. You'll get the same thing. Okay. And also what happens if you multiply both sides of the Bernoulli's equation with 1 by y square. Then y square gets cancelled from the RHS part and again you will get the same thing. Okay. 
1 by y square into dy by dx plus x into y by y square equals to e power x square by 2 into log x. You will get the same thing. So this becomes 1 by y square into dy by dx plus x into, you are having y by y square, right? You can write this y as y power 1. And you can split this as y power 1 into 1 by y square. Reciprocal of y power n can be written as y power minus n. Then reciprocal of y square can be written as y power minus 2. Now add the powers, you will get y power 1 minus 2, which is equal to y power minus 1. So you will get y power minus 1 here. Equals to e power x square by 2 into log x. Right? So we have eliminated y square from the RHS part. Now let y inverse be u. Let u equals to y inverse. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x. Here we will use chain rule. du by dx equals to you are having function of y so it involves a differential dy in between. Now find derivative of u with respect to y since u equals to y inverse. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to y. You will get du by dy equals to minus y power minus 1 minus 1. Derivative of y inverse with respect to dy. Sorry, with respect to y. Equals to minus y into minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. Since we know that reciprocal of y power n equals to y power minus n, then you can write y power minus 2 as 1 by y square. So you'll get minus 1 by y square. Right? Then du by dx equals to Derivative of u with respect to y is minus 1 by y square into dy by dx. From this we will get du by dx equals to minus 1 by y square into dy by dx. Now coming to the first term, here you are having positive 1 by y square into dy by dx, but we got minus 1 by y square into dy by dx. So, in order to make this positive, what we will do is we will just multiply both sides of the equation with minus then we'll get minus du by dx equals to 1 by y square into dy by dx okay so when u equals to y inverse or y inverse equals to u then 1 by y square into dy by dx equals to minus du by dx. Now we will replace first term and y inverse in terms of u. Okay. The above equation becomes replace this term by minus du by dx plus x into Replace y inverse by u equals to e power x square by 2 into log x. So now we are having the coefficient of du by dx minus 1. In order to make this to plus 1, what we'll do is we'll multiply both sides of the equation with minus. Then we'll get du by dx minus x into u equals to minus e power x square by 2 into log x. Which is? linear in u. We know that the linear equation in u and x is given by du by dx plus p into u equals to q where p and q are either functions of x alone or constants and integrating factor is e power integral p into dx and general solution is given by u into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c. Okay. So now compare the reduced equation with 
linear equation in u, the standard form of linear equation in u, we are having du by dx plus some function of x into u equals to function of x, which is linear in u. Again, by comparing these two equations, we'll get p and q where p equals to minus x and q equals to minus e power x squared by 2 into log x. So here, p and q are functions of x alone since it does not involve any other variable. It involves only x, right? So we call it as functions of x alone. Fine. We have p equals to minus x and q equals to minus e power x squared by 2 into log x. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation. So the general solution of the reduced equation. We can find the general solution of the given equation by using this formula, which is a formula for the reduced equation. Okay. So before finding general solution, we need to find integrating factor. integrating factor. See, we have reduced the given equation to linear equation and from the general solution of linear equation, that is by using this formula, we will get the general solution to the given equation. Okay. So, here we are going to find integrating factor e power integral p minus x dx equals to e power minus integral x dx which is equals to e power minus integral x dx is x square by 2. So our integrating factor is e power minus x square by 2. Now we'll find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution to the given equation is u into integrating factor e power minus x squared by 2 equals to integral q minus x minus e into e sorry minus e power x squared by 2 into log x into integrating factor e power minus x squared by 2 into dx plus c. Now take this minus outside the integral you will get minus integral e power x squared by 2 into e power minus x squared by 2 into log x into dx plus c is equal to minus e power x squared by 2 into e power minus x squared by 2. We can add the powers. We will get x squared by 2 minus x squared by 2 into log x dx plus c. equals to minus e power x square by 2 minus x square by 2 is 0 into log x dx plus c. We know that e power 0 is 1 then this becomes minus which is minus integral log x dx plus c. Since we know that Integral log x dx equals to x times log x minus 1 plus c. Since integral log x dx equals to x times log x minus 1 plus c, then this becomes minus of x times log x minus 1 plus integral constant c. See, we will not write constant for every integral. We will just write finally for the general solution. Okay, we will just write one constant in the general solution formula. That is enough.
no need to write brackets here is equals to now take this minus inside the brackets you'll get x times minus log x plus 1 plus c is equals to x times 1 minus log x plus c now replace this u since u equals to y inverse or you know that y power minus n is equals to reciprocal of y power n then you can write y inverse as 1 by y that is reciprocal of y now replace y with 1 by y then you'll get e power minus x square by 2 by y equals to x times 1 minus log x plus c now take this y to RHS, you'll get e power minus x squared by 2 equals to y times RHS part x times 1 minus log x plus c which is equals to x y into 1 minus log x plus c into y therefore e power minus x squared by 2 equals to x y into 1 minus log x plus c y is the required solution so we have seen a problem from Bernoulli's equation in this video hope you'll understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye